Hey, how's it going everyone? Today, I'm gonna to talk about the importance of staying humble and stacking sets. Now I know this is a common phrase you hear in the Bitcoin community, but it really does hold truth because far too often you see people that brag or show off or get cocky and they end up eating their own words in a couple of years. And I, maybe it can be right away, maybe it's a decade from now. The point is anyone who kind of shows off Where's the Louie? Gets the Lambo. I don't know what it is about the universe, but something of ends up coming around. And I think when it comes to wealth, a lot of us may have heard the saying, wealth is hidden. And I think that's true. There's a lot of people that are very, very wealthy out there that just wear a t-shirt, maybe some basketball shorts, and sneakers. And I think there's this illusion that oh, they need to be wearing Supreme or Louis or Gucci or Balenciaga or whatever. And I think you couldn't be further from the truth. I think a lot of the people that wear that stuff, they're actually poor. They're taking out credit card debt. Maybe they're spending all they have on an article of clothing. And I think it's sad because at the end of the day, clothes come and go. They break, a button falls off, they get out of fashion. Maybe they don't fit right or they're not the right style. The point is, you know, we got to kind of stay focused on the target. And the target is getting as much sats or satoshis as possible. And if you don't know what a satoshi is, it's a unit of account in Bitcoin. And there's 100 million satoshis in every Bitcoin. And in fact, um, you can buy a penny worth of sats at any time uh, at the application strike. Feel free to click the link below, my subtle plug there, but I do buy through Strike and I do like the platform a lot. I think it's really good. You could do the hourly buys. They're introducing limit orders soon. Essentially, it's a great place to secure and buy Bitcoin, at least for me, and I, I hope some of you guys find value out of, out of it as well. So these sats in Bitcoin, it tends to go up every epoch, every four years, and Yes, there are cases where maybe it doesn't go up as much or maybe there's a period of volatility. But by staying humble, you position yourself to keep up the buying of these sats. And if you didn't, then maybe you would instead spend it on something else that doesn't give you, you know, value or help you in this world. So I think it's good to actually grow your I think it's good to stay humble and stay consistent with your investment. That's another thing. What I think this means is, you know, it's easy if the price goes up to be like, oh, I'm rich. I made it. And then buy an expensive car or an expensive house. And then now you're just living the fiat nightmare that many are caught up in. So I think by being this humble person, you allow yourself to grow in degrees of magnitude because you're not focused on the tomorrow, the next week, the next month, you're focusing those four-year epochs. And you start to position your life in ways to help maximize your life in those four-year epochs. Now, nice and flashy things, you know, hey, it's good to have a few things, right? You don't want to live like a monk. I get it. I don't either. I, I wear some nice Tommy Bahamas once in a while. But the bottom line is they're expensive to maintain and you don't get an ROI. I can't tell you the number of times where I've ruined a pair of these shorts. They're $100 shorts, maybe more. And I, I look at them and they're just completely ruined. I, they're, they're not, it's unfortunate, right? Because they're, they have a stain or something. And I can't wear them again, right? They're, they're ruined. They're, they got red wine or they're white, and whatever it may be. The point is that $100 would probably be worth $700 today if I would have put it into Bitcoin. But instead, I was like, oh, I want something nice for myself. I'm gonna buy these shorts. And yes, you can't do that for everything. I'm just saying it sucks when that does happen. So I think you can't look at everything with an ROI, but look at many things in life with an ROI. Does that alcohol, does that provide you an ROI or does it actually diminish your return on time? Try to do things that are very low time preference and not things that are high time preference. High time preference, I think I may have discussed it in a previous video. 
Uh, I think that's like playing slot machines, gambling excessively, drinking alcohol, eating out, eating fast food, playing too many phone games, playing too many games, and just not investing in your future, not putting the time and the effort to help grow and develop your future. Those are things that are very high time preference. Low time preference is like reading books, maybe studying, planting seeds for tomorrow, uh, kind of working out. I mean, I can go on and on. I don't want to get into that, but kind of staying humble, flying under the radar, and keep increasing your position in SATs. So, you know, I'll, I'll tell you, sometimes when I run into money, it happens sometimes, not always. It's only happened a few times for me. But sometimes when I've ran into money, I get very excited. And I don't know if it's happened to you guys, but oftentimes I'd run into the money and immediately I'd spend it on something stupid, like something that I regret. And I think it's important that we all kind of look at life and try not to do this. Try to stay level-headed and, and rooted in what we believe is the best for our long term. Because I'll just give an example here. There was a time, uh, actually just a few weeks ago, where we won hundreds of dollars at the casino. Well, immediately, I remember just spending it back into something. Maybe if I bought everyone drinks and I bought some people food and then I tried to double it down. And I remember going home that night and I was empty handed. And yes, of course, it's the casino. I get it. But the point I'm trying to make is this, this happens when money comes easy. If you look at lottery winners, they're often broke in a few years. And that's because easy come, easy go. We all think we're going to do it different. We all think we're better than the averages. But in the end, a lot of us will just fall victim to the little devil on our shoulder that says, keep going, keep going, keep going until we fly close, too close to the sun. So I think, you know, it really is good to try to stay level-headed. You know, I, I also think by staying humble and stacking stats, we end up staying closer to our roots. We, we're closer to the person that we ultimately are. I don't know if you've heard the quote, uh, Money will exaggerate your personality already more than it already is. So if you're mean when you're poor, you're going to be super mean when you're rich. When you're nice when you're poor, you're going to be super nice when you're rich. When you're, It's a kind of a catalyst or it, it moves in degrees of magnitude more than you already are. And I do agree with that. I do think that money does make you more of what you already are. And that's why it's good to get closer to your roots and make sure that they're planted well. The last thing is being there for what is important. I think it's so easy nowadays to get caught up in all the noise of society. There's so much going on. I mean, you turn on the news and you hear this, that, the other, war breaking out, the elections, drama, you're hearing crazy things happen on laptops and islands and countries and kidnappings and you don't, it's, it's just overwhelming thinking about, right? But staying humble and stacking sats is about keeping your mind off of all that stuff and just staying focused on a simple thing. Do I have more sats tomorrow than, or today than I did yesterday? Do I, will I have more sats tomorrow than I do today? Hopefully the answer is yes. And then also, am I doing so in a way that isn't pretentious, that's not flamboyant or exaggerated or cocky? Am I doing so in a way that is chill and under the radar and that isn't drawing too much attention? Because that's one thing you see. You start to see people that do brag and show off a lot and that flash their hundreds, they are higher risk of being robbed. And I'll tell you this, guys, I've been robbed before, lost a lot, and um, I'll tell you, it's a big regret, and um, back then I was definitely um, more flashy, 
And today I try to be very minimal. I try to not keep too much on myself at any time. And I try to just fly under the radar. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this one. Please be sure to stay humble and stack sats. Always, always, always. Even if you have 10 more sats tomorrow than you do today, even if you're just slowly building, I think it's a good mindset and behavior to get into. Because at the end of the day, we want to optimize our sat position, right? And it, if you can't do it with sats yet and you're not you know, on the Bitcoin train yet, no, again, none of this is financial advice. But if you're not on Bitcoin yet, try to do so with dollars. Try to get an extra dollar in your dollar pile tomorrow than you do today. Every day, try to get more. Even if it's just 10%, 5%, 1% more, it's about the behavior you're establishing. That is the most important thing you can do is establish that behavior because before you know it, it'll become second nature and you'll be doing it without even thinking about it. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. Stay humble out there. Stack those sats. Share this video. Like it. Comment, rate, subscribe. Stream those sats. You mean the world to me and I'll catch you in the next one.